Ekaterina Dukas, MA in Philology and Philosophy, has taught and published on linguistics and culture at the universities of Sofia, Delhi, and London, and enjoys studying Sanskrit. He has worked in radio journalism and written on art history and medieval manuscripts. In 2021, she publishes, in collaboration with Eurobooks, her new literary work entitled Ekfrastiken. We have the great pleasure to meet her and welcome her into Conoscere TV. Hi, Ekaterina. It's so nice to see you. How are you? Hello. Thank you for having me. I'm well and I'm looking forward. <laughs> okay, great. Let's talk Ekfrastikon. What is it about? Ekfrastikon um, is about uh, poetry dedicated to artworks, visual art, sculpture, music, anything. Um, it is derived from the Greek word ekphrasis, which means to say something from the outside. So I'm outside the artwork and I say what I believe and what this work inspires me to believe it is about. Great. Um, and the, the particular word ekphrastikon uh, is a kind of my invention uh, from ekphrasis, ekphrastikon, to put it as a title of this collection of 39 uh, po poems on works of art. Great, and how was the idea of Ekfrastikon born? How did it um, come um, up? Um, the idea came from my love to art and from the fact that um, um, I, at the same time, um, I um, am a poet as well and um, um, when I saw Van Gogh's art um, in original uh, in Amsterdam, um, I was really, really moved so much. Uh, I wrote um, the Potato Eater's poem, uh, which was published in Ekfrastic Review, and then Starry Night, which was again published in the Ekfrastic Review. And I, since then, I never went off this track to write about uh, art. Okay, so what brings together these different images in your book? I believe uh, what brings together these different images is the drama. Uh, I'm inspired by drama. I'm inspired by how the good, the beautiful triumphs over and all these works of art um, speak to me just that. What is more dramatic than Starry Night of Van Gogh, where the sky is as if touching upon the earth? And <laughs> as we know, Van Gogh really was a saintly person. So this is what brings all the works of art and all the poems I uh, wrote about together. Okay, great. Changing a little bit um, of theme, what's your own publishing history? Uh, have you been participating in competitions so far? Tell us something. Um, yes, um, I have um, um, a, a publication by the British Library uh, when I researched the art of a medieval manuscript uh, held in the British Library, and when I studied other similar manuscripts, illustrated manuscripts uh, in uh, libraries like the Vatican Library, um, uh, uh, Libreria Laurentiana in Florence, uh, the Paris National Library, and it came as a book. Wonderful. Other publications, poems, um, as I said, um, uh, um, my poems were published in Ekfrastic Review, which is a Canadian site. Um, other poems were published in um, Poetry 
Ivanhoe, which is an uh, English site. Um, and um, um, in regard to competitions, a Cratic Review uh, publishes by, uh, um, um, bi-weekly, uh, every fortnight, um, a work of art and poets can respond to that particular work of art and it is called a Crastic Challenge. Um, and I was included into the uh, winning poems um, several times and I love this. Very interesting. Thank you for sharing your background too. Um, one last question. Uh, what were the first readers' response like? I'm very curious. I was surprised. Mm, I will start from a very interesting story, little story. Um, when a woman in Italy on a mm, railway platform, we started chatting and uh, I told her what I'm doing and um, in, uh, after we discussed um, one of my poems, Family Visit, uh, she uh, started doing something in, the, in her um, uh, telephone uh, and uh, I sort of apologized if I'm on her way to work. She said, no, 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 I just bought your book. Mm, so this was a response so spontaneous it moved me deeply. Other responses from my colleagues, I'm a member of a poetry club, Barnes and Chiswick in London, and um, the responses are like uh, 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 spectacular poems, bright poems, um, um, uh, surprising, um, um, Rococo splendor, Mm, and from colleagues from Victoria and Albert Museum that these poems, uh, we read them together actually, are very accessible um, and uh, even I got a response um, uh, by an Italian student that these poems should be translated in Italian. I believe that too. Thank you very much, Ekaterina. Before saying goodbye, we want to wish you very good luck with your book. Thank you so much, you too, and uh, thank you for having me. It was a very nice interview. Ekfrastikon is cultural heritage explored in, po in poetic detail, an impressive collection of poems on art from capes to modern museums. In this book, Painting, sculpture and music are celebrated in free verse by the author Ekaterina Dukas, who not only provides us with a detailed study of the works, but also impels the reader on an exciting journey through the inside stories, emotions and quests. Ekfrastikon by Ekaterina Dukas is now available in bookstores and digital platforms. It's a publication by Europe Books.